users, welcome to this video and today we will go on with the built-in functions. I chose the callable function because the others are not that interesting. If you're interested in bytes and byte array, you can check them out for yourself. So let's have a look at callable. This function returns true if the given object here as parameter um, is callable and false if not. So an object is callable if it implements the call method. So far the theory, let's take a look at the practical part. So I already created some objects here, a Lambda function, a normal function. I created the variable X and here's the class C. I instantiate class C and create an instance of C. And I put all those objects in this list here. And then we iterate over the list and check for each object in the list if it's callable or not. And you see for F, we get true because of course it's a Lambda function. You can call it. What means callable? It means our Lambda function was F. So we can write this, the parentheses, call the method or call the function behind it. That means callable. What we can't do is X and then call it because X is not callable. It's just an integer. You can't call an integer. You can't execute anything of the integer like that. But you can call the lambda function. You can call this function here, the square function. You can call the class also. And here we see it. We are calling the class or more specifically, we are calling the constructor of the class, the init method. But since the class does not implement the call method. If you remember here, callable is true if the object implements the call method. So here we don't have a call method. That's why the class is callable because it implements the init method. Every class needs that. And if you don't, yeah, just leave it like that. Every class needs the init method, but the object, the, the instance, let's call it instance, that's better. The instance for now is not callable. You see it here. The last one, last entry in the list is instance and it's false. So if we write inst and call it, we get an error. And if we implement call now, just like that. So that means we can call the instances in this way without any parameters here. And maybe we just return um, this attribute X. So now it's possible and we print it and you can see it. So now we don't have an error anymore. And you see we print three because this call of the instance returns, in our case, the th three. I will change it to five, we run it again, and we get a five. So that's how you make a class, or more specifically, the instances of the class, you make them callable by implementing the call method. And you call them with parentheses. That's how you call something, call a method, for example. And with the built in function callable, you can check if the given object here in the given argument of this function is callable if it impl implements a call method. So very interesting, all this. If you have questions, write them in the comments and stay tuned for the next video.